In this video, I will teach you how to graph inverse functions. To start with, we have here the Cartesian plane. Our x is our horizontal line and our y is our vertical line. Assuming that this is the graph of our function f of x. First thing that we have to do to get our inverse function or the graph of its inverse, we have to place first our reflection line x is equal to y. From that equation, we can have the following coordinates, negative 1, negative 1, 0, 0, 1, 1, and so on and so forth. This is how our x equals y graph looks like. And now, our inverse function is actually the reflection of our function from this line. So if it's going up, our inverse function here is going to the right. In symbol, that is f of negative 1, x. Let us consider another example here. This is still f of x and we have here the following points. So let us first list those points down. We have the coordinates x, y. Our first point here is negative 7, positive 1. Our second point, that is negative 4, positive 4. And then this point is negative 2, positive 2. We also have here positive 1, positive 2. And positive 3, positive 6. And lastly, we have positive 5. Positive 4. Now to get our inverse function here or the graph of our inverse, we will simply interchange our coordinates. Starting with the first point, our x will now be 1 instead of negative 7. And our y here will be negative 7 instead of 1. That would be this point. Another one is positive 4, negative 4. So this is this point. And then positive 2, negative 2. It's here. Next, we have positive 2, positive 1. So just right above our previous point. And we also have positive 6, positive 3, so it's right here. And lastly, we have positive 4, positive 5. And it is located here. So basically, we just interchange our x and y values. Now the next thing to do is to connect all of the points here. Now you can see here that the graph of our inverse function is actually the reflection of our given function. So basically, the domain or the x values and the range or the y values of the original function and the inverse function were simply interchanged, making their graphs reflection of each other from this reflection line x equals y. Now we have here the function f of x equals 2x minus 5. First thing that we have to do here is to graph this given function in order for us to get the graph of our inverse function. So we have here any values of x. It's up to you what values you wanted to consider as long as you can easily graph it. Mine is 1, 3, and 5. So to get the y here, let us substitute our x values to the given. 1 times 2 is 2 minus 5 is negative 3. Plotting that one first, it would be in this point. Next, let's proceed to 3. 2 times 3 is 6 minus 5, it's positive 1. Plotting that one again, it's this point. Lastly, if we will substitute 5, we have 2 times 5, 10, minus 5, it's 5. So our last point is 5, 5. 
After having the values of y and plotting the points, we will simply connect all of the points here, making a line. So this is the graph of our function f of x. Now let us get the graph of our inverse function. So we have here f of negative 1x. I will first create a table here for x and y. Now our x this time will be negative 3 paired to 1. Plotting that one, we have here this point. I will be using here a blue pen so that we can identify the graph of the inverse function. Next is 1, 3. So that is in this point. And lastly, we have 5, 5. So we have here this point. Now the next step is again to connect all of our points in order to have here our line. Now this line here is our f of negative 1x or the inverse function. So as you can see here, both graphs are reflection of each other. And this is the point where they intersect. It's in this point 5, 5. So I will be placing here intersection point 5, 5. As you can see here, we only have the graph of our inverse function, but not the inverse function itself. So to get that, we will have to go back to our given function. So that is f of x is equal to 2x minus 5. Now remember that f of x can also be written as y. So let's start with our first step. Interchange x and y. That means to say all of our y will become x and our x will become y. So we have here y. It will be written as x and then copy to y minus 5. And the next step is to solve for y. So we have to isolate y on one side. That means to say we have to transpose negative 5 to the left side. From negative 5, it will become positive 5 is equal to 2y. Now I am more comfortable with having y on the left side, so I will simply interchange their positions. Now to get our y, we have to divide both sides by 2. So our y here is equal to x plus 5 all over 2. This one is our inverse function. So we can write it up here. x plus 5 all over 2. You can actually verify if our equation is correct by substituting our x. Negative 3 plus 5 is positive 2, divide 2, it's 1. And then 1 plus 5 is 6, divide 2, it's 3. And 5 plus 5, 10, divide 2 is 10. We will be solving another function in the second part of our video. That is all for today. Thank you and see you on our next video lesson.